Hello and welcome again. In this video, we're going to answer a question. I've, I've thought really hard about the best way to do a, a tutorial series about Community Builder. You know, should I go over each each area up here? Plugin management, list management, field management, just go over each and every field. But I kind of thought that'd be spoon-fed, so I'm just going to take big questions and I'm just going to show you from A to B exactly how it's done or A to Z, more accurately. Um, and, and the first question we're going to try to answer is, how do people become a member? Or how does a user become a member of your site to where they can have their own profile? Now, this is going to be really important, and this is also going to be something that's going to be, or the answer to this is going to be very dependent on your business model. Um, you know, what, what, what are you having people sign up for? Is this a uh, is this a, a band site and you've got fans and you want to have each fan have their own profile? Is this a company that you need a company directory? So, uh, with that being said, you kind of need to you know think about you know, or you know is, is this a site that you've got a download right and you want someone to register, but through this enhanced um, component here, community builder, you want people to register and then once they're registered, now they can get to that important information and make certain downloads. Um, pretty much the steps are going to be the same in how these people become registered and a user of your site or a member. Um, but let's answer the question, how do they become a member? Well, the first thing you need to understand is that when you install the Community Builder package, there's going to be a zip file and a lot of things come out of it. And some of those things that come out are modules. And one of those modules is the mod underscore CB login. Okay, and it's important that this is activated, published, and you know it doesn't really matter where it shows on your site. Of course, you know place it where, somewhere where it makes sense and looks good. Um, but this is a special module that gives a lot of functionality to allowing members to either log in or actually create a profile. So that's the first step in how someone becomes a member. So let's open that module. And by the way, if you wonder where you can get it. If you click new, it is in your list of modules when you install it. See, there it is, Community Builder login. And it says in the explanation, login module will be used with Community Builder instead of the login module. Now, that's also important. If you're using the Community Builder platform, do not, I repeat, do not use the standard login module that comes with the core of the site, which is found here. This is if it just says login, don't use that if you're using community builder, use CB login. That's very important. So, since that's what we're doing, the first thing to do is to have this module active on the front end of your site so that when so people have a way or a means to get to the registration form. So, let's just go visit the front end of the site. All right, and here we are and here's that module, member login, okay? member login. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and open it up back here. And on here are, are a lot of parameters, you know, uh, module orientation, pretext, post, uh, login text, logout text, post and pre-logout. I mean, it it's great on the uh, on the options here, you know, and, and take a look at each one of these parameters. You get to choose your login, redirection URL, logout. Um, if you're unsure about all this, just kind of leave it the way it is right now. You can experiment with it later. Um, but essentially this needs to be activated and in place so that it shows up here. But for example, let me just show you. As you can see, I don't have any uh, text above here, so I'm going to go back here to login pretext and I'm going to type in pretext can go here. I'm going to hit apply. Let's go back to the front end of the site and hit refresh. And as you see, there's the pretext can go here. So again, this is how you can control this. But the key thing here is that there is a no account yet question, and there's a register link. And when you click on that, bam, it brings up a registration form. Now, these fields right here, okay, and minus the caption, the security code. This is something I've already added, and I'll uh, hopefully cover that in another video. It's very simple. It's a plug-in for Community Builder that adds security to your registration form. Um, but it's important to notice that you got name, email, username, password, and verify password. These are the exact same fields as the user manager that comes core with Joomla. So going to our user manager, which we probably won't be using anymore after this when you've got Community Builder, but just to illustrate it, you go mouse over site, go down to user manager, click on the user, and you'll notice 
name, username, email, password, verify password. The exact same fields. Okay? These are not related. This has to do with Community Builder, but I show this to you just to illustrate that the Community Builder out of the box matches and fields what comes with the core of Joomla. So you got name, email, username, password, verify password. And basically, when a user fills this out and hits register, um, depending on the settings that you have set up in the configuration area under registration tab, depending on how you have that set up, typically, and the best way to go is to have it where it sends an email, a special email, to the account that they give you in this email field here. And it's cool because it sends a link that requires them to click it to verify their email. So this helps keep out spam and proves that the person is a real person, has a real email account, and really responded to it. Um, and that is basically how it works right out of the box. They would just fill out these fields. Now, um, and we'll go over this in, a, in, in another video, which is the field management. But let's say we wanted to add and know what the person's phone number is, or what their address is, or if this is a site for a band, maybe we want to have an option on there that says, who's your favorite band member, so that the, that the user can select that. Or maybe if it's a company directory, we want to add a drop-down box that says, what department are you from? And then later on, we're going to separate by user lists the different departments. So again, um, we're going to go into that. But once that person registers and fills all this out and confirms their email, it's going to show up under user management. So let's just take you there. You'd uh, mouse over components, mouse over community builder, and go to user management. And when you do, you'll see the record of the person. You got enabled, confirmed, and approved. Enabled means can they be an active member or not. Confirmed is basically answering the question, did they register their email, meaning did they respond to that special link I was talking about earlier. And approved is whether they're approved by you or not. It will also give you their logged in status, and of course you can dig into the profile itself and see all the different fields. And there's a lot of different parameters and new parameters now for the user profile. And how we change this and add more fields to gather more information is going to be covered when we cover or go over the uh, field management area, which is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that at this video. Basically, how a user becomes a member is you first got to make sure that your CB login module is activated and published and that it's showing on the front end. And again, there's other ways to do this, but this is the most common way. And then as part of this module, as part of this block, there's a link on there called register. And when they do that, it's going to open up the registration form. And then they fill that out, confirm their email, and then they show up as a record under the computer, uh, Community Builder User Management tab. And this is what will grow as your members grow and as you get more members. And always keep in mind this display number option down here. You can show 100 members at a time, and then you'll start having to use your pagination down here. So I um, hope this helps. hope this gives you kind of a basic idea of the flow of how a user becomes a member of your site. And um, that concludes this tutorial.